What's going on thrifty friends? Welcome back to Abby Thrifts. If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Abby and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. And I'm so excited today because I finally had the chance for the first time in a while to come to the Goodwill outlet and I am in the very back of the parking lot. There are no other cars over here, but this way there are and that's where the actual Goodwill outlet is. But yeah, I came to the back just because there were no parking spots up there, but ton back here and it kind of gives me a chance to shoot a little video for you guys before I go in. But like I said, have not been to the Goodwill bins in so, so long. I think the last time I was here was for my October video. Obviously that was a few months ago and I thought it opened up at four, but I'm already seeing people come out. So maybe they updated their hours again. So just trying to kind of go through the video relatively quickly so I can get in there and show you around, show you what's in there. Thank you so much for being here today. First and foremost, I want to shout out a few people. In my last video, I introduced this new app that I signed up for called Buy Me A Coffee. And basically Buy Me A Coffee is a way that you can support people online. So whether artists, video creators, pretty much anything, you can sign up for it and people can financially support you. And in my last video, like I said, I introduced that and I had two people buy me a coffee and I just like, when those notifications popped up on my phone, I was like, I love these people so much. So not gonna say last names, but first person, Jennifer L. Thank you so much for buying me a coffee. I saw that come up, I was like, this lady, she is the sweetest soul ever. She watched my video, commented on it, and then directly after that, bought me a coffee. And to make it even better, she is a Cards fan, doesn't live too far from St. Louis. I was like, girlfriend, I love you forever. So thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Second is my mom. So shout out my mom, really appreciate the coffee. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for that. To kind of piggyback off of that, God has provided me an amazing opportunity. And I, before I get too far into this buy me a coffee thing, I want to switch my focus from having it support me financially to where I want to support charities and I want you guys to be able to support charities with me. And so there are two foundations or associations that I want to donate to or have you guys help me donate to. First one, Feeding America. So you can help support Feeding America if you buy me a coffee. Every coffee that you buy me is now going to support one of these charities. And you can find my buy me a coffee link in the video description and my actual YouTube description. So I'll put it in both, but um, it's a yellow icon with a coffee cup in it. But first one, like I said, Feeding America, one in every nine Americans do not have enough food in their cabinet, pantry, on their plate, whatever. I want to help people have the resources they need. So if you wanna help me with that, <laughs> Go ahead and press that link. The second one is the National Stuttering Association. That association is close to my heart and that what that money goes towards is helping those people with that struggle. Just give them the resources they need as well as it, it goes towards research on what actually happens in the brain when you stutter. So I just, I think those are, those are two awesome charities and I, I think if, if you guys could help me out with that, that'd be freaking awesome. I'm not going to buy any <laughs> coffees or anything with that money. And actually the money that Jennifer L gave me and my mom gave me, I'm keeping those in the account and not using that at all. So thank you too. Thank you, you too. That sounded a little weird, but thank you guys for the money that you already donated. I'm keeping that in there. Have not bought myself a coffee. I actually brought a water today, but yeah. So just had to throw that in there. If you feel like you want to donate, just check out the video description. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram under Abby underscore thrifts. I can throw it up on the screen for you. I just post things on there <laughs> regarding my thrift trips and things like that. So anyways, also don't forget to like and subscribe, but I'm going to go in and uh, find some good stuff. My challenge for myself today, I'm only going to spend $5 and yeah, we're, we're just going to do it. I don't have a lot in my thrifting budget at the moment, so I'm trying to keep things pretty low, but I'm only going to use $5 to find things to resell. So hoping today goes super well. And yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys inside. Definitely not gonna be too showy about the fact that I have a camera because like I said before, I've been yelled at and I don't wanna be yelled at again. So anyways, I'll see you guys in there.
what's up guys back from the goodwill outlet i decided to film this video a day later so i can get the sunlight and i'm not dealing with like a a fussy ring light but anyways back to show you everything i got from the goodwill outlet i have my receipt here i spent a total of ten dollars and 29 cents and so i definitely did not stick with that five dollar challenge that i told myself it was the first time i had been back to the goodwill bins in a long time and i think i just got a little excited with everything so i had a bunch of stuff in my cart but i kind of whittled it down to things that i liked for myself and things that i really thought would resell the trip was awesome had a really great experience in there again haven't been there in a long time so i was really excited to get back i will be honest though i did not find a lot of good things or good brands to resell but at the same time i was also hanging out in the home section for a little while so but the good thing is i did find a few things that i am dead set on reselling and i have all the stuff i bought here right next to me i bought seven pounds and 40 ounces which like i said is a total of ten dollars and 29 cents I believe they upped the amount per pound so it used to be a dollar 19 per pound at the specific goodwill outlet and now it is up to a dollar 39 per pound so definitely not too crazy i mean 20 cents that's about nothing but when you start piling on pounds then you know the dollars start adding up so anyways ten dollars for all the stuff i'm about to show you is absolutely nothing but let's go ahead and get started Forewarning, I did get a lot of this stuff for myself and I just have to apologize in advance because as much as I like reselling, I also really love thrifting and that's why my YouTube handle, my Instagram handle is Abby Thrifts, Abby Thrifts. And it could be Abby resells, but Abby Thrifts just goes better because that's what I like to do. So I just like to shop and get those bargains, whether it's for myself or whether to resell. And I do realize that if I want to be serious this year about making that $5,000, I have to be on my game. So I need to start working on that aspect of my thrifting of, you know, when I go somewhere, I am thrifting to resell these things. So, but let's go ahead and get started from there. So the first couple of things that I bought, when I go to the Goodwill outlet, I always find dish towels. And this one was super cute. I had to grab this dish towels you know at target walmart they're super super cute but they can also be really expensive not really expensive i mean if you're getting like a three pack of something then that could end up being like 9.99 or whatever and it ha if it has like a cute seasonal type of thing on it then it could be even more expensive but these type of dish rags and towels at the goodwill outlet are like 20 cents when it's added on to everything else you're buying so definitely not bad at all but yeah so i got this black one which was really cute i got this one and this is just a little towel with a bunch of different vegetables on it so you see there's radish squash zucchini pumpkin i just thought it was really really cute so these are things i can hang on my little stove and this is a holiday one this has some dogs and cats on it and it says happy holidays and like i said i really like collecting these because I actually don't have a dishwasher and so I use these dish rags a lot to just, you know, wipe everything down and, you know, save on paper towels and also dry some dishes off. So these are really, really nice, but I thought these were really cute and they're always in good condition too. And if I do find things that are not in good condition, I don't really pick it up just because I wouldn't really have a use for it. I mean, I could if I'm, if I'm really being creative, but if I'm just using it for my kitchen or something, then I'm just not being... <laughs> super picky with it but anyways yeah so here is another one this is a little cliche and i don't normally pick up stuff like this but it's a dish towel and i thought why the heck not because i can use it to dry dishes and stuff and yeah so <laughs> always like that stuff but anyway so i got myself four dish towels and these were probably like 20 cents each which is not bad at all and to be honest none of my dish towels match whatsoever so we love it and I, I really don't care it's it's for my hands it's for the dishes doesn't matter anyway so the next thing that i got is this super adorable change purse and i actually have one that my mom gifted me a little while ago and it has an asian floral print on it and this one i love that it's just you know simple plain it's like a maroon color and then you have like a 
dark greenish blue here at the top and then on the inside you have a beautiful satin color it looks brand new like there's nothing on the inside that looks like it had been used before and i am going to be keeping this for myself the other change purse that i have in my purse is being used for something else so this will be used for actual change and good thing i wanted to show you guys i found 50 cents at the bins 52 cents at the bins uh yesterday and really excited about that i mean i can start adding that to my change collection i'm also a coin street or st street coin collector i think that that's that's what i named it but if i find like a quarter on the street you know for sure i'm picking that up man that stuff adds up i one time i found a half dollar on the street and i was so excited and my boyfriend was like what are you doing? That's gross. I was like, no, -uh, this is a half dollar. I'm picking this up. Leave me alone. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> on to the next thing. So this was a super adorable sweater that I found. I'm always on the lookout for Goodwill, not even just Goodwill, but really any type of thrifted sweater. I have this entire like thing in my closet of just like super nicely folded sweaters and i just every time i open my closet door i'm like all right which sweater am i wearing today and this is going to be thrown into that rotation i have a feeling that this was not worn because it still has this little hang tag thing on it so you can kind of see it there and i looked up this brand it's jodiful and this is a mass produced clothing site i'm definitely not saying that correctly but it's like a wholesale wholesale clothing and when i was at the bins like there was so there was this one and then there was another one exactly like it in a size medium this one's large and i was about to grab both of them and i was like who would want to match me that would wear a size medium but i didn't grab it I, I just grabbed this one and this one i thought it was super cute hasn't been worn before i'm gonna throw this into my sweater rotation so really excited about this one and i love that it has like little protruding like polka dot type of things but they're not a, you know a different color but i just thought it was really soft super cute we always love that the next thing that i found was a top from altered state and yes this is for myself and if i try it on and either don't like it or whatnot that i'm definitely going to resell it because i know altered state can be kind of expensive sometimes but i just thought this was a super cute plain and simple black top you can see that there is a really cute like sideways pocket right there on the front and i believe that's like a different it's like a ribbed material here on the front and this is definitely gonna have to be washed there looks to be some little hairs and uh little fuzzies on it but that's okay and i just thought this was super cute i'm always looking for plain and simple things i can wear to work this is super nice material and if you've ever tried to <laughs> Not, I say tried because I always try, but if you ever go in and shop at Altered State, everything there is always so expensive. It's really cute and I wish I could pull a lot of it off and justify spending $80 on a t-shirt, but if I find Altered State, I always pick it up because I know there's a group of y'all out there who really love Altered State, so really liking this. I'm going to keep that in my closet. Next thing that I got is for sure going to be resold. This is a super classy and adorable top from Zara. So the material, I don't, I really don't even know how to describe it. It kind of feels like a blanket, but it's really nice on the inside. It's super soft. And like I said, this is from Zara in a size small. I'm really loving the neckline here. It's like a pearly beaded, uh, <laughs> it's just, it's adorable. I, I don't even know how to explain it. I kind of wish it fit me because it is just super cute. You could pair this with black pants, with the skirt, this just looks like the perfect winter top. So I'm gonna throw this up on a Poshmark and eBay probably, and hopefully get at least $20 out of it. There's a red string on here. But yeah, have not looked up comps for this. I do know that Zara sells really well right now. And yeah, really, really excited for that. So gonna throw that up there. I also have been looking into getting uh, list perfectly or then do and so we might see how that goes and if i do that then i will be able to start listing things onto multiple platforms but i just i just haven't gotten to that point yet where i am wanting to spend that that money per month uh, i could just try vendu because i know they do have a free five items that you could use just to try it out but 
Anyway, so the next thing that I found is this super, super soft, really, really soft August silk plaid black cardigan. I just thought this was the absolute most adorable thing I've ever seen in my life. I don't have a lot of cardigans and so, oh, there's another. <laughs> I wonder if this is coming from my sweater. Oh no, that's the same red string. Oh my gosh. Okay, never mind. That string needs to be thrown away. Anyway, so I don't normally buy cardigans. Be I don't know. I've just I've just never been like a cardigan person. Oh, and this one buttons right here. How cute is that? But I thought maybe I could like wean myself onto it, like because wouldn't this be so cute with this white turtleneck? I'm just saying. But if I try it on, don't like it, it doesn't fit. I will list this on Poshmark, and I saw that. August Silk sells on Poshmark pretty well, at, at least from what I've seen, and I, I would hope to get at least $15 out of this if I listed this, so pretty big, pretty soft. It honestly feels like you're wearing a blanket, so we always love that. The next thing that I got is this really adorable New With Tags Chaps Blazer, and it's actually, I'll try it on for you. I was actually looking through my closet the other day and I didn't have any blazers. Oh, I'm gonna love this. I have to keep this. Oh. So I was just thinking if this didn't fit, I was going to list it on Poshmark. This definitely needs a good wash. It doesn't smell bad or anything. It just smells like it's been sitting in a bin, but yeah. So originally 99.50, so literally not bad at all. And I think the price got down to 9.95 i'm guessing we sold this at like kohl's or something but this is super nice and if i ever need a blazer and want to look professional at work or something then i know what i'm gonna wear but yeah so this was one of those items where i was like you know if i don't like it, it doesn't fit whatever i'm just going to list it on poshmark and ebay hopefully get like 10 15 dollars out of it but the good thing is you can always wear clothes for a little bit and then list them too. And that's what I've done with a lot of clothes in my closet. So heck yeah. Last thing that I got that I'm really excited for is this beautiful Gold's Gym gym bag. I was looking at gym bags on Amazon a little bit ago and so, you know, they're like $30 if you want a nice one. And got this with my ten dollars and 29 cents the only thing with this is it doesn't come with a strap that you can like strap around your body so i think i might get a little creative and make one on my sewing machine i have a ton of fabric that i haven't used the only thing is i might have to get like a little clasp clasp <laughs> that i can use to clasp onto this and so it'll go on the other side and and be uh you know weighted and everything but i thought this was super nice has a lot of pockets on it there's even a little shoe compartment over here on this side, so you can throw your shoes in there. I recently have a new gym that I can go to, so I'm really excited to start using this. And yeah, I am extremely happy with all the purchases that I got today. Honestly, a lot of them were for myself and uh, not really mad about it at all. I do know that I have to start going to the thrift store and looking for things to resell. And I'm just gonna be upfront and honest with you guys about that. I really, really like thrifting and I like finding things that fit me and not spending like $50 on it and you know, only spending four. Like that makes me so excited to find something and not spend very much on it. And I bet you guys are the same way too. But thank you guys so much for watching today. It means the world to me that you guys are watching, commenting, liking. I appreciate all of it and if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and maybe a subscribe i have also been thinking that i need to be more consistent with when i post my videos and so from now on i'm sticking to it i'm going to be posting new videos every sunday at 2 p.m so make sure you have your notifications on you have your little bell on so then you can stay up to date on the new videos that i'm posting and i promise i'm going to be more consistent on the things that i'm doing and I said this in my last video, but one thing that I want to work on this year is providing value for you guys. So whether it's maybe entertaining content of me going to the Goodwill bins or me providing value for you and how you can get started thrifting and reselling and maybe how you, <laughs> you can avoid going to the thrift store and finding things only for yourself. But that might be a video I have to actually watch because I'm so bad at that. But anyways, thank you so much for watching today. I love you all and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.